What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Lucas Brown. Lucas Brown says that he is ready to be the fill-in for Tyson Fury. Of course, he is one of the candidates and one of the guys that Tyson Fury is looking at, along with a couple other guys, to keep Tyson Fury busy. As Tyson Fury's promised that, hey, he will fight in December with or without Wilder, and it looks like it will be without Wilder, and Lucas Brown wants to give his bid in. He had this to say. Lucas Brown said that, hey, it would be an absolute honor to tangle, to fight, to be in the same ring as the Gypsy King. He, I think that he's the best fighter out there today and I would love to fight him. I'm ready. I've been training. The pandemic has shut a lot of us down. Nonetheless, I have stayed in shape and I am ready for the test. He says I could look bad or shitty in 11 rounds and knock you out in the 12th. That's the danger of dealing with Lucas Brown. Okay. And those are the words that he had to say. He's putting his bid in. What do I think about that? I think it's a I think it's a, a a stay busy fight definitely. I think he does have somewhat of a name. You know, um it's I don't I don't see the same win as when Dillian White knocked him out because you know that's Dillian White's leftovers, right? Dillian White already beat Lucas Brown in dynamic fashion with that chopping left hook. It was a beautiful moment. And one thing about this, like I've said about Devin Haney and Javante Tank Davis fighting um, Yoriokis Gamboa, you have some fights. They uh, the only reason they're they're legitimate, you know, besides keeping Tyson Fury busy, is they have a common opponent, and the common opponent is Dillian White. Now we know Dillian White has, in fact, been defeated. He's knocked out by Povetkin, but. It keeps the heavyweight division interesting if he would take on Lucas Brown because let's say Lucas Brown, he goes 12 rounds with Lucas Brown and he's tougher than he expected, somewhat like an Otto Violin, you know, where he's able to get his rounds in, which would probably be good for Tyson Fury, believe it or not. But what would it mean? It, a lot of people would automatically compare like, hey, Dillian White, the guy that you refused to fight, knocked him out already and you went 12 rounds with him. <laughs> right? So you have a common comparison of an opponent and it looks good for boxing on top of Lucas Brown does have somewhat of a following. I think he's from New Zealand and you know, that could be a nice, uh, a nice name on Tyson Fury's uh, resume, you know, because instead of the Kaladzis or the Pianettas or the, the Swartz and all these people that you really never heard of after the only person that stuck out out of the four pick'em fights from Tyson Fury was Otto Violin. That was the only one, <laughs> right? So in hindsight, if you look back at it, I think it's important for Tyson Fury to pick the right fights, to make sure that the fight that he's the fighter that he's fighting is somebody that we've heard of. At least we can get that much. So I wouldn't be opposed to it. And then Lucas Brown, you know, these guys have, you know, been beaten by a couple other guys already. And, you know, they once were, were undefeated, you know, a couple years back. But, you know, they need their time to shine, you know. So he already respects Tyson Fury. So, you know, there's no bad blood there. So there's no reason why that fight shouldn't happen, you know. Um, I like the idea of it. I would rather him fight. Lucas Brown than another opponent that, that I never heard of. Okay, and, and I'm going to leave it with that. You guys tell me what you think about Lucas Brown calling out Tyson Fury, wanting the Tyson Fury fight as the fill-in. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.